Hey, what's going on guys? Kalamaza here, and today I want to talk to you all a little bit about Warlock Bis gearing in Season 4. Looking at the uh, the assumed Bis gearing profiles that have been run by Lock Discord and Malakath, credit to them, uh, over the past few weeks and everything, and talk about where to acquire the gear, how to get it, and a few tricks to crafting gear in Season 3 to be used early on in S4, like Shadow Flame gear, for example, to proc the Aronog ring, adding sockets to that gear and all that. Some little tips and tricks along the way to, I guess, fully optimize heading into S4. Uh, like always, Week Wars add-ons, links to Twitch and Discord down below, we're going for free for you guys. Uh, at the same time, uh, if you're looking for any kind of like actual spreadsheets for S4, I'm not going to be making one for this season because all the gear is pretty much in these videos and it's pretty simple and straightforward. I will, I will be making a video on like uh, raid bosses for all three raids, what specs are probably good in those fights, what builds, all that in the next few days. So if you want to see that, uh, check back. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get right on into it. All right, now I do want to say off the bat here that if you want to run your own sims whenever S4 drops, a great way to do it is going to raid boss and clicking the drop optimizer tab. Once you do that, all you have to do is just literally shift V, paste in your character's info, and there should be tabs here for PvP S4, PvE S4, dungeons, raids, all that. And it will run a sim taking all the gear, at least it should theoretically, in S4 and give you the highest output for your character. Now, these profiles here have been run with, you know, all the gear being combined and all run together. So it should be the highest overall output in the sims we're going to look at here in a minute. But keep in mind, your character will vary from this build. It's very hard to reach BIS gearing, you know, uh, early on, even like later on in a patch. Your character will have different different stats from my character. You might have haste uh, verse boots. I might have mastery crit, which will skew other things, stat weights, all that kind of stuff. So I would encourage you to run your own sims early on, even mid tier and long term in S4, if you want to really optimize every little bit of gear. All right. So getting into all this, here, we have demo Destro and Af here. Uh, we, looked at, we looked at some sims a few days ago about like trinkets and things and dinars. Uh, these sims will confirm that, but they also show what other pieces of gear you're likely using uh, long term for BIS profiles in S4. Now, these are all single target sims here. AOE might vary a little bit, but at the same time, probably not a crazy amount. You can run them on, their own, on your own if you want. So Demonology sitting at 386 basically DPS wise, uh, playing the single target build here. So. Uh, you are indeed playing four piece unsurprisingly your four piece is doom brand base we have an s3 we have an s4 as well for demonology so it's helm shoulders uh you're looking at chest you're looking at legs here now as far as gloves are concerned these are from the overgrown ancient in algathar's academy they are crit first gloves here you can see if you click on them and scroll down it is from the overgrown ancient in algathar's academy so aa uh one piece of gear from there Outside of that, we have Taros Captive Core from Raiding. Uh, it's from Taros Vault the Incarnates. Uh, three sockets here from just, you know, the usual vendor, the jewel crafting thing, whatever it is, what it is. Uh, Cloak being the rare one from Sarkareth. It drops so often for us in our raid. Didn't seem like it was rare, but this is going to be a universal item across every spec. Silent Star being for uh, Demo, Destro, and uh, unsurprisingly, Affliction. So once again, a rare item. You can spend dinars or, you know, bullions, which are the S4 currency on them ahead of time now getting to bracers and things right so we have a vibrant wilder cloth wrist wraps here now you're playing uh double blue silken lining for demonology because you are playing the aeronog ring here as well uh being during a chosen which you know can proc and redo fire damage demonology does a lot of fire damage you're also playing inquisitor's gaze here so it gives you just straight up fire damage effect uh you can proc this very reliably as demonology uh, so you're playing double blue silken lining here. Now keep in mind, blue silken lining is worse in progression quite often uh, than it is in farm. Because in farm, you know, not, not taking much damage, uh, you're more used to fights, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Shadow Flame, not a bad secondary option. You'll probably see a lot of players playing Shadow Flame embellishment as long as they don't tune things in S4 early on in prog and then changing to blue silken lining later on. Uh, outside of that, you have a belt here, Sash Abandoned Hope. This is from the first boss in um, Aberyst, right? Kazara. Uh, to your legs, you have boots, which are crafted as well. Also playing Blue Silk and Lining. Diurna Chosen, Aranog Filial Duty. The other rare ring from Vault, being from Diurna. A very strong ring, a very strong shield whenever it procs, which is quite often because you're even you know, fire damage. Uh, weapon, Universal. It's Daimyu. Uh, haste mastery with a on use effect does damage and it is increased when you're playing spindle if you can immobilize things whatever uh, non boss units and trinkets as far as they're concerned incarnate icon and valoros now uh, these sims here I believe are with tank DPS and healer uh, being added to incarnate icon in these sims for every spec but I simmed without them 
just only DPS being you and Incarnate Icon is still very strong. You're playing Incarnate Icon and X for every spec. Uh, spoilers ahead. Now, as far as Belorus is concerned, uh, nine mutrin gets right here, not too far behind, about what, like half a percent, 0.4 percent, give or take. Um, if you like Belorus, great, it's there. If you don't like it, you know, Naimu is here, but it is a combination of, you know, Naimu, uh, Belorus, and Incarnate Icon for the majority of Sims here, right? Um, but putting all that aside, there's not a whole lot of pieces here that you fill from dungeons, right? I mean, looking at this, like, raid. I mean, you, you can get these from the Catalyst or put them in the Catalyst to get them from the Vault, obviously. No tier pieces, but I mean, like, you know, uh, tier, raid, tier, raid, tier, crafted, uh, this is a dungeon piece, but then you have raid, tier, crafted, raid, 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 and raid, right? So not a whole lot of dungeon, dungeon, uh, I guess, or just pieces in general being used here, right? Um, so keep that in mind. Moving on to Destro here, a lot of similarities. So playing, you know, tier helm, terrorist captor core, different gems. Once again, gems will change a lot based on what you want for your own character. Playing shoulders, playing silence, our cloak playing uh, robes as well, and also playing bracers with blue silken lining. The exact same pairing as demonology. We can literally do this. It's the same thing, like here. Same thing. Nothing changes here. All, barring gems, all the same, right? Uh, as far as gloves are concerned, you're playing them as your off piece. They're from Warlord Sarga. This is from Naltheris. Uh, they are haste and mastery. Destro this tier playing Chaos Incarnate, um, which is very strong. In Mythic Plus, uh, this build sort of wound here with internal combustion and soul fire. I won't play this. I'll probably play just conflagration chaos and maybe internal combustion. But either way, you're playing chaos incarnate. You're back to haste master for Destro from what it seems like. Uh, even in plus, you're playing chaos incarnate with three minute infernal. Two minute and plus, not getting chaos incarnate, just not worth it from what I've seen. Um, so big haste master gear. Once again, a mastery and crit gems, obviously. Uh, so there's the gloves from Naltheris, right? Uh, this mythic plus, you can loot up from there. As far as belts concerned, this is from Kurog Grim Totem, I believe, from Vault. I can look here. I'm pretty sure it's Kurog, though. Uh, it is indeed. It never, it never would drop for us in our actual raids, but it's from Kurog Grim Totem. Uh, legs, tier legs, obviously. Uh, boots crafted. Once again, same thing. Legs and boots uh, being tier, boots being crafted with blue silken lining on them. Uh, same as demonology. Different stats, however. Haste Mastery boots and Haste Mastery bracers here comparatively to demonology playing crit verse and uh well crit verse so if you're a warlock well you know secondary stats they sort of you know <laughs> they vary a bit right uh similarities again however though filio duty ring they're in a chosen ring incarnate icon once again universally and playing nine muse unraveling spindle also playing dreamminder right uh nine mu you're playing destro here two minute build if you're playing three minute build it's likely incarnate icon and iridius fragment from Naltheris. Um, but we'll see where that goes. I have Sim 3 minute build and it was actually pretty low, but I think it might've been a little, uh, skewed. I'll run Sims later on, but 3 minute build looks to be certainly in plus what I've seen playing Incarnate Icon and Iridius Fragment. But if you scroll down a bit more here, other trinkets for 2 minute build, you're looking at, uh, Incarnate Icon, Boloros, um, basically the same thing here. Uh, now Spit, now Theris Trinket, Spoils, and Incarnate Icon, not that far off. You're behind by 7k, but at the same time, this is an item from the raid versus this farming you farm this basically infinitely from Notheris. Not a bad option. You've got Feather here. You've got uh, Pure Decay here also. So likely your like pre-raid bis for Destro was likely Feather and uh, Spoils being equipment on use. But once you get into the raid, you've got Incarnate Icon, Naimu, and Boloros, right? So there is that. Now, when it comes to Affliction, things are similar, but a little different. Uh, Destro here, like I mentioned, also playing you know, Aronog Ring. So you can proc it pretty easily by casting fire spells. That's your entire toolkit, right? Playing Inquisitor's Gaze as well. Affliction can't do that as easily because Affliction doesn't really have any fire spells, right? Now you are playing the Helm Enchant. I have not seen the Helm Enchant on its own proc this effect, like proc the Aronog Ring, uh, Incandescent Essence. I haven't seen it proc it on its own. We are playing Inquisitor's Gaze as Affliction. You're playing one uh, Roiling Shadow Flame embellishment as well here on your bracer is because you want that effect to be able to proc your Aronog ring. So one shadow flame and then one blue silk lining on boots playing haste mastery here to a similar extent haste mastery here. So the same for Destro haste mastery haste mastery but polar opposite of demonology being crit verse and crit verse. Uh, the cool thing is boots are universally blue silk lining pretty much if you want to play that. Once again keep in mind blue silk lining not as good in prog or I guess you can call it prog in a sense for S4 as it is farm when you're higher eye level healthier more use of the raid all that kind of stuff right so i wouldn't be surprised even by seeing blue silk lining here um 
if you see a lot of Shadow Flame early on from people that are raiding early on and all that. Uh, I'll run those Sims or embellishments a bit later on. We get closer to the launch if they buff and nerf things, but you know, there's that. Now, as far as tier is concerned for Destro, you're playing your off piece. This is from, I believe, um, Forgotten Experiments in Aberis. Uh, it actually is Forgotten Experiments. Um, you're playing this helm here, um, Haste Mastery. But as far as tier is concerned, shoulders, chest, gloves, and legs. So basically, I mean, three out of four pieces here are being shoulders, chest, and legs are being played for Destro and Demo as well. You can see here the only difference is helm versus gloves. Uh, the neck, Terra's Captive Core. It's the best neck across every single spec. Uh, minor haste, major verse. So that's also a great, you know, similarity there. Cloak, like we talked about, also universally applicable. Uh, braces and boots being crafted. Also, the belt, uh, Kurog belt, same thing as Destro. Haste Mastery Belt, look at that. Raph as well. Haste Mastery Belt, Kurog Belt. Uh, and Rings, Filial Duty, Darren Chosen, Incarnate Icon, and Nine Muse Unraveling Spindle. Um, now, Incarnate Icon, like we talked about, universally applicable, good everywhere, across every spec, whether you're playing, you know, the DPS only version of this or Tank Healer DPS with the group buffs, just great everywhere. Baseline Intellect, a lot of crit, very good. Uh, and Spindle being your best option here outside of that. If you don't want Spindle, uh, it's once again Incarnate Icon, Beloros, Incarnate Icon, Iridius Fragment, which is interesting here, or uh, Incarnate Icon, Umbra's Heart, or Spoils on Otheris, something like that, right? Early on, before the raid, your best option for like, you know, pre-raid bis gearing is likely going to be like either Fractured Heart, or I, I think this is a bit skewed, honestly, but maybe like Fractured Heart, um, Neltheris Trinket, and likely Feather being your Equip Trinket. Unless you want to run two on use, but you know, no one's running that without being Polaris is one of them, right? Um, but either way, once you get into the raid, it's basically Incarnate Icon, Spindle, uh, and or Polaris if you want those kind of damage profiles. And for Demonology, we didn't hit on it earlier, but your pre-raid best trinkets, probably looking at, uh, once again, Fractured Heart or Neltheris Trinket somewhere in here, uh, and Feather, likely. So that is that as far as gearing is concerned now a tip here that you can do when it comes to getting into uh s4 gearing because we we've talked about shadow flame versus blue silk and lining here um one big thing we talked we hit on a few times you'll likely quite possibly see people playing just double shadow flame embellishment early on uh if you're af you want at least one to proc your you know ring obviously if you get it but if you don't have this ring early on you know Maybe you sway towards playing double blue silken, depending on how things are tuned, right? Because like filial duty ring, this is rare. This is rare. This is rare. This is rare. Uh, you have four to five rare items, you're, and this is rare too. You're chasing five rare items. Now you have these bullions you can use. We don't know how bullions are going to drop or how much you can get per week or whatever, but they do indeed drop. Um, it looks like more uh, often than dinars would, right? They're from a weekly quest in game, so you can probably buy multiple items, like past three um this coming tier right but a trick you can do so for example let's say we're in current season three which we are now you can craft bracers and or if you're making a belt for example maybe over boots and depending on what you want to do right you can craft bracers or boots ahead of time and take those bracers like these being 486 s3 based into season four with the embellishment on them but more importantly a socket because as long as you socket the item bracers uh, or you know maybe like a belt if you, if you want to craft one or boots you can't socket these but if you want to put an embellishment on them early why not craft them ahead of time sure but bracers if you do belt you can socket them both ahead of time and carry that socket into season four as long as you don't when you recraft them to an s4 eye level it will remove the socket but if you have the socket placed preemptively using one of the items in the vault you can take that item with a socket into s4 so likely what I'm going to do is make a couple bracers, a couple belts with Shadow Flame and Blue Silken, and then same thing for belts, right? Socket them and carry them into S4, right? Now using this item, well, wherever it's at here, I don't have one because this is PTR, but point being the item to socket things in uh, S3, right? If you wait until S4 drops and hold your doubloons from the vault, whatever these things are called, your tokens, and try to buy the item for sockets at S3, it's gone. You can't use it. To a similar extent, if you buy the item for sockets in S3, keep it in your bag till S4 and try and socket the item in S4, you can't do it. This thing here, it goes gray. You have to use your, your nature's cradle to socket the item in S3. And as long as you have it made like this before the patch hits on the 24th, or whatever it is for, well, the patch, the you know, S4 transition, it, it will retain the socket 
retain blue silk and lining or shadow flame and retain the secondary stats so whether you've crafted it already maybe you want to change stats maybe you want to recraft maybe make a different embellishment or add a socket to it do it before s4 drops if you care if you don't care it's whatever make it an s4 but if you're playing af or looking at playing it in s4 you want to have one shadow flame to proc your ring if you get it early on <coughs> excuse me if you don't well, hey there's that they're all there there's five rare items ring ring trinket staff and cloak and realistically depending on gearing early on uh it might vary what you purchase initially right like staff weapons very good when it comes to raw eye level but at the same time if you pull a weapon from your vault week one at 528 it might not be a dream binder but it's going to have you know a pretty big increase regardless for eye level and be close enough to dream render or dream binder you might not want to buy this staff with your first set of you know the balloons or dinars or uh bullions maybe you want to buy filial duty maybe you want to buy incarnate icon incarnate icon stacking early on similar to Kabbalah's hymnal in shadowlands towards the end is likely a very 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 strong option for a lot of guilds people might want like mana grief torch or certain weapons as well but if your entire guild stacks incarnate icons you're going to have four groups full of healers and dps some having tank healer dps combos i think it's even raid wide i'm not even sure at this point but you're going to have a whole raid filled with those tank healer dps roles giving you max value out of your incarnate icon and it's a few thousand more dps having that full stacks it might be there could be a world depending on how often um bullions drop where a guild maybe doesn't mandate but says yo if you can buy an incarnate icon do this if you're a tank and can afford this first do this if you're a healer and like this item look at incarnate icon maybe ahead of time compared to like um a weapon if you pull one from the vault or maybe ahead of like you know a, a ring or a cloak if you want it right so keep all that in mind um I'll run embellishment sims. Let me get closer to launch and stuff. See where it goes. If they buff and nerf things, um, it could be just Shadow Flame, Blue Silk, and Meta again. But uh, yeah, we will go from there. Uh, BSL being Blue Silk and Lining, also good in Mythic Plus uh, comparatively to Roiling Shadow Flame. But you know, in rating progression, Shadow Flame always procs. Well, it'll proc whether you're at 100% health or 1% health, right? Blue Silk and Lining, you got to be above 90. So. Uh, we'll see where it goes but i might make a spreadsheet just for this if they don't make it in the lock discord um for like this gearing but at the same time i'll put the sims below once again credit to malakath and everybody that's working on these you can pull them up and look on your own and uh yeah get ready for s4 because it is coming within well honestly a few weeks so thanks for watching guys that wraps it up and hopefully answer the questions you might have had about s4 bis gearing from warlocks uh well yeah heading into s4 which is a mere few weeks away uh like i said you know it's hard to obtain all these pieces of gear and five of them are rare so early on it's gonna be very important to run your own sims of your own character um i'm not gonna run a million different sims looking at like pre-raid dungeon gearing and raid gearing outside of having rare items and all that but the cool thing is like i talked about at the start of the video all you gotta do is go to raid bots when s4 drops hit drop optimizer put your character in and select whatever you want and it will give you your highest output and the best way to, to tell for your own character is to run your own sims i can tell you stat priorities which are sort of a thing but your character varies from mine which makes a difference right you know so following a stat priority sort of blindly is not the best answer unless you don't care about running sims and sure do it but you might be leaving dps on the table so yeah but uh yeah i guess with all that being said we cores add-ons links to twitch and discord down below like always if you want them uh, before in the video like always as well a huge shout out to my patrons for all supporting patreon like always uh guys i appreciate it thank you for all support a million times uh I, I really appreciate it allows me to keep doing what i'm doing for you guys and making videos and yeah just thank you for all the support uh if you look at supporting on patreon should be a link up here as well as down below in the video description now s4 is hitting on the 24th this month i believe somewhere on there 23rd 24th whatever it is they've said that alpha is hitting before s4 uh and i'm venturing to guess that we're gonna get one more set of hero talents spoiled the last 10 or whatever are left uh before alpha they said they want to spoil them all before it hits so i'm 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 thinking that next week we're gonna get hero talents maybe on monday they'll announce hey in our weekly blue post we're gonna spoil them on thursday or friday uh and then the week after being i don't know whatever uh like the 15th whatever that week is the week after next alpha comes out big alpha week and then we have s4 hitting and uh, it's gonna be crazy things are ramping up and before we know it man this is already mid-april almost we're gonna be well really mid-april we're gonna be in a expansion launch and race the world first before we know so if y'all aren't ready well get ready and uh yeah so with all that being said thanks for watching guys like the video hit the uh, like and sub buttons below it helps out a ton and i will catch you all again soon on stream peace